please like and subscribe for our channel growth. Trump just made a huge change for Social Security recipients seniors are elated. During the campaign, Donald Trump made bold promises to the American people, and especially to those who had been neglected under Obama. Despite opposition from many in Washington, a biased media, numerous riots by leftists, and plenty of natural disasters, President Trump is making good on his word. He's moving forward with the promised border wall. He's working with many companies to bring back countless jobs to the country. The stock market's surging. Unemployment's down. He even got a Supreme Court justice appointed within months. And now one of his biggest promises is coming true, as the Social Security Administration announced an increase to benefits. From Western Journalism the Social Security Administration announced Friday that benefits for more than 66 million Americans will increase by 2% 2 in 2018. The 2% 2 cost of living adjustment COLA, increase marks the largest increase in benefits since 2012. The 61 million Social Security beneficiaries will receive increased benefits beginning in January 2018, according to the SSA. Increased payments to more than 8 million Supplemental Security Income beneficiaries will begin December 29, 2017. The average beneficiary will see an increase of $300 annually, or $25 a month, according to the, the Associated Press. The average Social Security beneficiary receives about $15,000 a year, or $1,258 a month. It doesn't seem like a lot of money but even a minor increase can mean huge relief to the many retired Americans. Keep in mind, the federal government dishes our billions of dollars to people on welfare, food stamps, and various entitlement programs. Even illegal aliens get benefits like cheap housing and cash. But the hard-working Americans who paid into the system for decades can only count on a few hundred dollars a month. That's got to change. This bump will hopefully signal a change in priority by the U.S. government. The people who supported this country for years through hard work and dedication deserve support. Those who are a burden to our system, abusing it, should get the boot. Let's hope that will be the case, moving forward. Source, Western Journalism.